All right, what's up, guys? Devin back here, and uh, we got some great news coming up. But first, we're going to look at the 2023 AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am bets, outright bets, top 10s, top 5s, top 20s. Uh, I, there's no matchups yet, but we're going to look at all that in this video, and uh, we're going to talk about some great news from last week. All right, let's jump into it. So, before we get into this week's... Uh, outright picks <laughs> we got one you know taylor montgomery kind of let us down a couple weeks ago at the amex you know having that uh terrible back nine when rom and davis thompson weren't doing anything and taylor was storming and then all of a sudden you know he just put one in the water and his day was over i mean it was over before that but that really put the nail in the coffin um but yeah we got one, Max Homa. If you you tailed me on that one, congrats, congrats. Let's go get another one this week. Uh, it was actually it would have been a great week. Uh, I'm betting if I took advantage of the sports book that has each way betting. I keep talking about it. and I don't do it. If I would just take all my bets from DraftKings and put an each way bet on all of them, I'd ha have a little bit more money in my pocket. Um, yeah, so. My three main bets that I talked about that I placed before while recording or before recording last week were uh, Kyle Morikawa, Max Homa, and Taylor Montgomery. And Taylor Montgomery was simply because I don't want to miss out on his win. So basically, I was really betting Max Homa and Kyle Morikawa based off of what I was seeing and and what I liked, uh, how I liked their game fitting at the course, and then. I think after the recording, um, before the tournament started on Wednesday, it was either Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, I added Maverick McNeely to the betting card. So I only had four outright bets last week and got max at uh, 28 to 1. We'll take that. It was, uh, it was awesome. It was fun watching. And then uh, Colin, was, Colin Morikawa was right there too in third place. So... That felt good. I just was hoping when I was watching that one of those guys was going to get up there and uh, Max just put his foot down on the gas and um, Sam Ryder just kind of fell apart and uh, Max was just rolling. So uh, happy about that. One on the board for the season already. Like I said, if I would have each whip it, I would have had some money back on Colin and um, – now, here's the big mistake I made this week. One and done. We talked about one and done. And I had said in the video, I was either going to go Maverick McNeely or Max Homa. And after the video, uh, I picked Max Homa. And then, <laughs> right before the tournament started, I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to save Max Homa for... Uh, you know, either like Genesis or or the U.S. Open um, at the L.A. Country Club this year because you know I'm just looking California kid and he's the he he wins in California. So at last second, I switched to Maverick McNeely off of Homa, and that sucks because uh, that that uh, Max Homa win would have uh, been nice. But you know, hopefully he can get it done at one of these. Uh, one of these uh, elevated events. Uh, I think uh, I'm either probably going to use him or Colin Morikawa at Genesis. And uh, yeah, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, we'll talk one and done at the end. And um, yeah, so so far this week, I've made uh, four or five bets. I can't remember. I know four for sure. Um, so looking at this board, um, I made the mistake of kind of jumping on some stuff really early this morning, and I probably should have waited. Uh, but this morning when things first came out, I was worried that Jordan Spieth was going to get bet down further. And I may have made a bet on him at 9-1. to one. Uh, And then his number moved to 11. And then DraftKings uh, has a nice little promo to add... Uh, Add plus 300 on any golfer to win the uh, tournament. So uh, I've got two bets on Jordan Spieth. Uh, one at 9-1 to one and one at 14-1. to one. So 
Yeah, we're, I'm I'm happy on Jordan Spieth. Uh, I bet him top five, top ten. Uh, so yeah, I really like Jordan Spieth this week. His course history is immaculate. I'm not worried about the missed cut at the Sony. I think this is a place where Jordan Spieth's going to show up because it's it's just a course that he plays well at. So uh, yeah, Jordan Spieth was the first bet. Uh, my second bet was Maverick McNeely. Uh, he's at twenty to one now. He's getting bet up quite a bit because you know he's just got, he's got all the ties to Pebble Beach and he's got a good course history. So, um, I bet him last week. I figured you know what, um, might as well because you know if I miss it, I'd be pretty sad. But uh, I didn't really want to make the Maverick McNeely bet, but here I am. I've got a bet for Maverick McNeely. Um, so I have. I got Maverick McNeely this morning at 22 to 1. So that's what I got McNeely at. And then, um, yeah, so moving down the board, a little ways down the board. I don't really have anybody else in this uh, 20 range. I don't have anybody in the 20 range. I don't have anybody in the 30s. I don't have anybody in the 40s. Although Keith Mitchell was interesting to me. Um, at 35 to one. So don't hate that. Um, but yeah, let's keep going down. And so the first guy up that I had next was Ben Griffin at 65 to one this morning. Uh, I got him at 65 to one on, on DraftKings, And then I got him 65 to one on FanDuel. Cause I kind of thought that might've been the best number I was going to get on him. So yeah, um, I'm I'm not playing Ben on DraftKings, but with the way he's been playing, I wouldn't be surprised if he's at the top of the leaderboard and in the mix. So just to get some exposure to him, I have him for outright bet number three at 65 to one on DraftKings and on FanDuel. And I also have him uh, top 20. And do I have him anything else? I do not. So I have Ben Griffin top 20, and then I have two outrights, one on DraftKings, one on FanDuel for 65 to 1. Uh, moving down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> moving down. Big time down. Uh, the next guy I have is. Oh, man, this number got better. That's another one that I messed up on. But uh, Troy Merritt. I got Troy Merritt this morning at 100 to 1. Um, he's got a great course history here. Uh, putter can pop, his irons can pop. So like if they both pop, he's going to be at the top of the leaderboard. And, um, Hey, I, if he can pull it off at 101, I'm happy. I'm happy. And I, and I talked about him in the DraftKings show. He's one of my favorite guys to play on DraftKings this week. So at Troy Merritt at a hundred to one. And I also have, uh top 20 bet on him at three and a half to one so yeah and i have a top 10 on him eight to one just because i'm feeling really spicy this week uh moving on from troy merits uh the only other bet i made um one i will talk about is i bet kevin streelman top 20 i really like his course history i like his fit for this course so I got a top 20 on Kevin Streelman. And then my other bet, the outright bet I made just simply because I'm crazy. And wow, where did he go? Did he go down the board or did he go? What did I get? Oh, man. That one sucks. I might have to re get in on that one. Uh <sighs> Henrik Norlander this morning was 180 to 1. Uh, Henrik Norlander is now 300 to 1. Uh, so, yeah. Kind of missed out on that one. But uh, simply just a long shot. Uh, great ball striker. Putter is garbage. Around the green game is garbage. But who knows if he can stick the ball to 5 feet because his ball striking is that good sometimes. And he can stick it to five feet every time. And we just pray that he makes a ton of them. Um, so, yeah. I probably won't re I won't cash out and re-bet on that. I'll probably just leave it alone because I don't really care. It was just kind of 
something to have on there. Um, but yeah, um, so moving to one and done after my big mistake last week. Um, I think a lot of people are going to be using Maverick McNeely this week. And let me, I can check real quick to see what my pool is looking like. Uh, let's see, picks. Is it pool wide picks? No, it's not pool wide. What is it? It is pool wide picks somewhere. No, damn it. Which one does it? Which one is it that tells me what people are site wide picks? There we go. So, um, it's looking like Jordan Speed will probably be the highest picked golfer this week for one and done in my pool at least. Uh, right now they have a projected a, a pick percentage of twenty one point eight percent, and actually Maverick McNeely is tied with him right now at twenty one point eight percent. Real happy I fired off McNeely last week and not Homa. That was. Uh, that's unfortunate but if max can go to the genesis and win and i have him there uh that'll be a little bit more money and not a lot i think a lot of people picked him last week so in my pool at least so maybe not a bunch of people will be on that and uh, i'll get a chance at him i really need to make a push here over these next couple weeks in my one and done because uh i only have one winner so far <laughs> Uh, I've been doing better at getting people making the cut. I think the last three weeks I've had people make the cut. I had Montgomery on his uh, T5 at uh, the Amex. McNeely was like tied 33rd last week. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got, the only one winner I have so far is Keegan Bradley at the uh, Zozo. So, yeah, the Homo one would have been nice. It would have moved me up the leaderboard quite a bit. But good news is is i have him for one of these bigger events um so yeah i i just don't see where else i'm gonna fire jordan i thought masters but i i just don't think he's gonna have it at the masters this year um i honestly might pick rory at the masters for one and done uh because i know some people picked him already this year so uh, you know rom and rory See, that's kind of the good thing is, is I got the, I still have a lot of the big guys on my one and done. Still have Rory, still have Xander. Um, I already, I used Rum, but uh, on a bad week. And uh, yeah, so I still have a lot of the big guys. So I still have Morikawa, still have Homa. I st uh, used Victor, used Victor. I have Spieth, but I'm going to use him this week. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just trying to hold some guys for later in the season I and mean, hopefully I can make a big push at the end, but, uh, yeah, Jordan Spieth for one and done this week, guys. Um, I really like him this week and I'm hoping he can pull it off and get a victory. We can hit him in one and done, hit him in the outright market, hit him on top five, top 10, top 20. Uh, he'll do good in my DraftKings lineup. I'm all in on Jordan Spieth this week, guys. And, uh, it's kind of scary because who knows what we're going to get from him. So all right, that does it for the betting show this week. Remember, subscribe, like, comment. Tell me what your favorite bet is this week outright. Any placement bets, matchups you see later in the week, whatever. Tell me what your favorite is. And uh, remember, when we get to 50 subscribers, we'll be doing a giveaway. Um, yeah, so uh, good luck, everybody. Let's Maybe let's get another winner this week. Uh, and uh, yeah, all right, I'll see you next week.